Welcome to week two of the 2023 legislative session. I am here speaking to you today from my new office. Because I am the House um, Chair of Public Education's Appropriations, they had me uh, move to a new office. And this office is in the Capitol. And as you can see, I have a spectacular view of our great Salt Lake City and down even to the south of Salt Lake County. And it's, it's great, uh, uh, it's a beautiful view. It's been an amazing week. We've done a lot of great things. One thing I wanted to share with you is something that I've talked about in other years, but I still think it's a really, really awesome thing about the Utah legislative system. This week, we passed our base budgets for the year. Now, as um, chair of House Education Appropriations, then I was able to be the House sponsor of the Education Appropriations Bill. And what the base budget does, it establish a bud establishes a budget that will see us through the next year if for some reason something happens and we aren't able to agree on a budget that includes the um, changes that we make through this legislative session. So what that means is Utah will not be in a situation where we have no budget. We will always have something to work on. And a base budget essentially is last year's budget with a few modifications. And then at the end of the session, we add in all the things that we approved during the legislative session. But I love it. I love that our um, communities and our state will not go unfunded. So that's one of the things that's been happening up here this session and this week in week two. I also want to thank you so much for filling out my surveys. I've received your responses in the mail and I've opened them. Every day when I get them, I open them and I read them. I want you to know that I do read them because I think sometimes it's easy to think, oh, they don't pay any attention, they're so busy. I do. I look at them, I read them, and I pay attention and I use the data when I'm evaluating bills. So thank you so much for doing it. And if you haven't had a chance, you can still submit your paper copy of the survey, absolutely, and go online, and there's is still time to do that. Thank you so much for doing that. I also want to tell you about a bill that I'm actually um, presenting in committee this afternoon, in House Education Committee. And this bill takes uh, prevention programs that already exist in the state of Utah. And these programs try to help with prevention of alcohol and tobacco and, and pornography and lots of different things. But right now we have several different programs. So a school or a district has to write like four or five or six applications to get funding for these programs. And so what we're doing is combining them into a block grant. That will make it so much easier for classrooms, for teachers, and for um, people at the district level to access. And you know, one program might work well with another program, and, it, and maybe one program will do all the needs for all the prevention needs. But this allows districts and classrooms to decide that, to decide what will work best for them, what they like, and they can apply for them in one grant and not have to do more and more paperwork. So I'm excited. I should pass easily, and um, that will happen this afternoon. Another exciting thing. There have been a lot of kids up here this week. In fact, it's really fun. My, my office is on the fourth floor of the Capitol, and so I can hear the activity out um, outside the door, and it's so fun to hear children and, and their parents up here in the Capitol, and I've had the opportunity to speak to several different groups this week. In fact, one group I spoke to, my grandson was in the class, and that was fun, and I've spoken to several, and it's just fun, and it's such a great opportunity to have kids come up and see the process, and I, it's, it's a delight for me. Um, I just want you to know that there have been some big decisions made up here already this week in, and last week in, in the last first two weeks. 
And I've had the opportunity to talk to many of you, both in person and on the phone and otherwise, and I have thoroughly enjoyed it. It's been such a great thing to be able to hear your thoughts and to share my thoughts with you. And so please feel free to do so. And then one other thing I wanted to share with you, something exciting happened today. I received an, an award from the PTA, and it's actually a really awesome looking award, but it's, it's to honor service to the children of Utah. The Utah PTA, Every, Ch Every Child One Voice. And it's, it's really, it's a beautiful plaque, and I'm honored to receive it because I really do try to help children and families. And most of my work up here during the last six years has been to help children and families, and I will continue to do so. So I think that's it for week two. I'm excited to talk to you again next week. Thanks.